Man, y'all. <clears throat> Sorry for the crack voice. But today is July 25th and July 20 a.m. And today starts to make me. Sorry if I squint my eyes. This sun is out really strong this morning. Um, today is the end all of depression. The end all of our weight. And today is the end all. It's definitely not going to be an easy journey, but I'm going to get it done. And I just need to take my time, take my time out for myself, and not worry about anybody else, and get myself done. I lost myself over these last, I can't even say how many years, but it's too many years. I lost myself. I need to get myself back together because if I don't, I'm going to fall into a deeper depression status. And I have kids. Four beautiful babies that don't deserve me to be that type of person. They don't deserve it. I definitely need to work on myself and work on what I need to work on. So I could be happy. I'm sure you would be happy. But she found myself crying a lot. Yeah. Just not, you know, just not happy. Uh, I know it's because of how I treat myself. Because of how I treat myself. I treat myself better where I can feel better. My eating habits and not getting up, working on my body. Like the weight I am now, which is 222, I'm not ashamed. No, excuse me, 224. I'm definitely not ashamed to see my weight. I had my baby two years ago. It's no excuse. It's no excuse for me to be 5'3 and 224 or however much I was. It was over 200 pounds. It's no excuse. It's no excuse at all. And I'm not going out with the big excuse. So I need to work on what I need to work on. Get this done. I need to figure out. I'm 35 years old. I feel like a complete failure. You know, I always keep a roof over my kids' head. Food, you know, but I just feel like it's not enough for them. And I need to. Time is ticking. Time wait for no one. I see this post and he says, um, every day we're getting closer to the expiration date. We sure are. But I feel as though that I want my kids to be successful. I want my kids to be happy. They got to learn from me. When you're not happy, your kids are happy. Nobody around you're not happy. And it's not their fault. They deserve to be happy. They deserve to be happy. They deserve to have what they want. They deserve it. If I can't give it to them, and who else will? You know, it's just it's a lot. Then come here for no, you know, pity or nothing like that. You know, I appreciate the people that I can talk to. Definitely appreciate that. So, we get on the journey, lose this weight, and you know, do what I have to do. Make myself happy. I just feel like sometimes, like, I'm in a chokehold. Like, my life is in like a chokehold. And it's just stressing me out. It's just stressing me out. So, I don't feel like nobody else be down because I'm down. 
cannot do it. Cannot do it. I honestly feel like if I moved also, that it would definitely burn my spirits too because I currently live in Killeen, Texas. And it's like, I feel like my life is at a standstill, you know? I feel like it's at a, truly at a standstill. I love the job that I work at so much. I spend so much, you know, it's not necessarily the money. Because I could be making way more, but I spend a lot of time with my kids. And that's what I want. Excuse me, all this machinery because they cut my grass out here. So, I spent a lot of time with my kids. And that right there. That work that makes me happy. Spending a lot of time with them. Let me stop back at my house real quick to get me some water. I forgot to bring some water out. But that right there is a lot to me spending time with them because I was missing so much time with them working out the prison. And by me not having a car, I had to stay up at the prison six days a week. It was like I was missing so much time. Like I practically wasn't even raising them. Oh, I'm so much water in this stuff. Look at my features. I believe you think this is like eczema. This is eczema. But my skin, all oh, bad. The damn whiskers. I'm not adding in nothing because it is what it is. Bumps on my face. That's all I know. I'm in a form of depression because it's like I don't care. I'm taking it into this word, huh? This is my phone. I know I'm in a form of depression because it's like. I'm going down. I'm going down. And I refuse to go any deeper than I'm already am. I refuse. And I'm not. Should have grabbed two little. Okay. I refuse to go any deeper than I am. I refuse. It's not worth it. You know, it's not entirely worth it. I have to work on myself. I can't depend on somebody. I can't be like, oh, you know, if you ain't working, I, I can't do it. If nobody ain't working with me, then I can't be with I you can't blame nobody for yourself. You cannot do it. You cannot blame nobody for you know how you feel. You know, you can't do it. You gotta work on you first. I had a conversation with my sister last night, and we came to that conclusion. You know, I have to work on me first instead of worrying about any fucking thing else. Any fucking thing else. If I don't get myself pretty, if I don't get myself worth and myself worth, then what am I here for? What, what example am I gonna hold for my? children and i have a daughter what example am i holding for her if i sit up there and allow this depression to beat me how can i sit up there and tell her to be strong how can i sit up there and tell her to always love yourself when i can't do the same for myself how can i do it i can't there's no way there's no way possible how can i sit up there and tell my daughter, you know, my baby, you don't need to have a better attitude. My mind's all fucked up. My mind's all messed up. How can I do it? Uh, I let past relationships hinder me. I let someone live in my head, as my sister would say, rent free for half my life. 
moving half my life. And I have to, I say, I know I'm over the situation, but you know, when you get hurt, sitting and keep blaming that situation. Oh, leave that in the past. Leave that in the past. I tell you that in the past, if I don't, I'm never gonna be happy. Like, um, I don't want to do a sit through, both around, both around, being sad and everything else. So, no, I need to get myself together. And today starts today, whereas I'm getting myself together. It's gonna be a journey. It's gonna be your journey. You're definitely gonna keep that in a loop about the journey. Because I know I'm not the only person that's going through this right now. I know I'm not. I get this thing done. I'm gonna start off walking. I'm gonna start off walking. And start the job. My sister now getting some memberships at the gym. So I know that's gonna be a plus also. I'm truly happy at that with it. Then we get a uh, membership at the gym. So I know you work on my body and me getting myself back to me being pretty. I wish I could insert video pictures. Last night I looked at some pictures and all I could do was cry. Because I couldn't figure out how I let myself get like this. How I let myself get like this. You know, y'all don't know, but I'm from Philly. No, I wasn't no fashionista or nothing like that, but I always kept myself up. You know, and as soon as when I got down here, I've been living in Texas for about half a year. I was there like, when I got down here, I was like, I had to let myself go. I truly let myself go. I think. As a, with a young mind, I would I would think like, oh, I, I leave, you know, don't nobody want to talk to me, nothing like that. So why do I need to get dressed? Or why would I allow? Why would I allow that to stop my growth? Because I feel good. Because I'm thinking that somebody don't want me. Who the fuck cares? They think about you. They think about you. You need to keep up with yourself. That's all I would think about, you know, that's all I would think about. Why oh, again? Then, I was like, I don't want to, I didn't care. I said, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Sorry about the person. I don't care how it look. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't care. And, it is what it is. But now, I gotta be good looking for myself. It's like my face is always looking so good, and I feel so like it's permanently like that. In reality, the people who really know me know I'm not like that. You know I'm not. She's the nicest person out there. Funny, but I really can't show my funniness. I literally can't. Like this. I don't know. But. I'm gonna continue with this walk, y'all. And I appreciate y'all listening to me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And more videos will be coming soon. More positive weight loss videos will be coming soon. And I appreciate y'all. Bye.